Hi, Paul C. here from Suicide Evolution. In this quick video, I'm going to take you through another method of working with templates inside Reaper. Now, we took a look in a previous video how to automatically load in a template that we predefined with all our tracks color coded and various different effects and things like that placed on them so we can work with our projects a lot quicker. And that's great. But sometimes you don't want to load in an entire project, sometimes you only want to load in a particular instrument. So say for example we were working on an album or an EP and we use the same drum track, drum layout, drum samples every single time but that was the only element that we worked with that was the same on every single track on that particular recording session. Well the previous method wouldn't work very well, we'd have to go in and delete the elements we didn't want or see, save a template out that only included those particular elements we wanted. Well Reaper gives us another way of working with the templates and it's a quick and intuitive way that means that we can save out customized sets and load those in at any point we want with a couple of clicks of a mouse. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take you through step by step how we set those up, how we create them and how we save them and call them back up to work within our projects. So let's crack on. Okay, we're back inside Reaper with a new session. Nothing loaded in, no instruments, no virtual instruments, nothing. Just a blank project. So the first thing we want to do is start adding some basic instruments that we're going to work with to create our new template. In this example, I'm just going to work with my drum setup that I'll be working with, an EP that I'm working on at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just insert a new virtual instrument track, and I'm going to go to Tune Track, and I'm going to use Easy Drummer. Yes, I want to output this to multiple tracks. That's fine. Okay, so you can see if we take a look down the left hand side, we've got all the drum tracks all set up. They're not named, but we can name those at a later date if I, if I want to, which I probably would do. By default, this is now loaded in the standard normal kit that we load up by default with my installation of Easy Drummer. It's not the kit that I want to work with. So let's just go in and change that to Metal Machine and the Big Room. That's going to load in that particular drum setup. I'm going to switch over to the mixer. And I'm going to specify I want this to be multi-channel, so all the different mics are output to the relevant channels. And I'm done. So I'll just close that down. So we've got our basic tracks all set up. So the next thing I want to do is to create a blank track, which I use as my master. I'm going to rename that Drums Master. And obviously this is the way that I work, not everybody works the same way, so you can set this up in the way that you normally would. And we'll drop that at the top, and then what I'm going to do is select all of the tracks below it. And I'm going to put those into the Drum Master. So now Drum Master is my parent, and all the other elements are the children of that particular track. So, next thing for me is I'm going to set my track colour. I always set my drums to red just so I know what I'm doing. So we've got our track set up. All our different elements are in there as they should be. Color coded, we can go through and name them. We have a little check, you can see that I've got my Easy Drummer with that particular drum kit set up. So we're all good to go. We've got that exactly as I want it. So the next thing I need to do is if I right click on any of these tracks, I can now say save track as template or save tracks as track template. That brings up a dialog box that says, okay, give it a name and then we can save it out. So I'm going to call this one default drum tracks. Now I've got a couple of options underneath it. We can see include track items in template, include envelopes in template. So if we wanted to create a template that actually included media items, we could save that out by checking this box. And the same if we've got any sort of automation envelopes and things like that on the tracks, we could save that out with it as well. So that would load in every single time. In this instance, I only want to load in the track template and nothing that's actually placed on it. In this case, there's nothing on there, but if there were, I don't want to load that in. So I hit save, and that's now saved that out for me. We can test that by simply deleting all 18 tracks. And then I can right click and say insert track from template. And you can see that we've now got two elements or two entries 
default drum tracks that we just created and one I created previously for my guitar tracks for, for my EP. So if I click on default drum tracks, that will load everything in for me, all the tracks, all set up, any effects, anything like that I put on there. As you can see, the drum kit is all set up in there. And just to show you that I can actually do this again and again and again, I can just come down below that, say insert track from template, and this time I'll choose my guitars. I'll give it a couple of seconds, and there we can go. We've now got my three-channel guitar setup, my guitar left and right, and my guitar master, all inserted in there for me. So hopefully what you've seen on this video is that you can quickly and easily create simple track templates that can work with any instrument or any, any instrument setup. You can save that out, and you can call them back up and insert them into any project you want at any time with a simple technique. I hope you find this useful, and I'll see you again.